what time it is. It's a sales day video. This is insane. This is probably about three times what I normally have for a single day. This is also the first day or day and a half or so. I guess there's a little bit more than a day in here. But anyway, this is the first day and a half of accepting offers and or entertaining offers, I should say, is a more appropriate way to put it, and also sending offers on uh, on cards, and it's paid off huge. So you'll see some different looking prices in here than I've had in the past. Normally, everything I price is a dot ninety nine cents, so three ninety nine, four ninety nine, five ninety nine, whatever. So you'll see some things in here, like two dollars and fifty cents, three dollars even. So a lot of this is that is the results of me accepting offers. But anyway, we got a whole bunch to go through, so let's get started. First one here is a Montana and Marino 1985 Passing Leaders card. Love this card. 85 tops is notoriously tough for condition with the black borders. This one's in pretty good shape. Centering isn't horrendous. A little off left to right, but and a little bit top to bottom too, but... Corners look pretty decent, edges are okay, you know, not as chipped, so that's a nice card. Alright, next we've got the Collector's Choice Rookie Class Jeter. have a couple of these, so I sold one of those, got out of one of the big Jeter lots I bought. The Jeter stuff is paid off big time. Um, this is a 22 Zlatan uh, Ibrahimovic. Uh, base card, legendary player, soccer star. Um, this is one that I believe I accepted an offer on. Bought a bunch of these for a buck a piece from my local shop. Uh, this is um, no, they're numbered out of a thousand. So these are like there's a silver and a gold version. These are the gold. Sold two of these um, 2008 tops. I think it's 08, right? Six? Let's take a look. Oh, wait. Tops Super Bowl Dynasties with Brady. A Stat Smasher Favre. Of course, I have my big stacks of these. I bought hundreds of them at a time for good price. So I don't mind, I accepted an offer on this too. If this was something that was, you know, like a single card in the store, I wouldn't accept an offer on it. The card's too cool, it should get, you know, it's full price, but I'm willing to let some go on it, uh, based on the fact that I have so much volume of it. It's Jim Brown I picked up out of a dollar box, so probably paid 75 cents or so. This is from Topps Magic. Jim Brown has a a huge following. Many believe he's the best running back of all time. So I try to buy cards like that when I see him. Uh, this I got out of a pack um, back when this set came out. This is 1920 Mosaic. That's just an Amphony Simmons base card. Got full price for that, which is always nice. Uh, certified Record Breakers Rice. Shiny, shiny. Uh, this accepted an offer of 250 on. It's just a Brett. 94 tops base. I'm trying to move a lot of, I have a ton of inventory. As as you guys know, I buy quite a bit um, shows, although I haven't been to a show in well over a month now, but uh, I buy a lot at shows and I buy, you know, bigger lots on eBay to split out. So uh, I'm happy that a lot more are starting to sell so I can keep it, keep it turning over. This is Lamar Parrish, cornerback for the Bengals. This is 71, yeah, 1971 tops. So kill, still killing it with vintage. Uh, Mika Parsons, rookie out of the Phoenix Fireburst set. Um, this I got out of the big lot of Prism Parallels that I bought pretty cheap. I think I paid 25 cents a card, something like that. So it's uh, nice to get some of that back. Darius Slay Jr. there. 
another vintage. I have a few of these. Uh, this is the Cowboys Team Leader from 79 Tops. 20 door sets on there, and that's the big, big one there. And I guess Randy White, too, is a well known Cowboy star. There's another Cheater, a 2012 Bowman Chrome, 2014 Bowman Chrome. Nice looking card there. And a 52 Bowman, yeah, 52 Bowman DeWitt Tex Coulter. So, paid about a buck a piece for those, so some profit in that one. Here's a um, 06, uh, the Farf set from Finest. And uh, this is the blue X-Fractor, so it's numbered out of 150. Bought a big lot of these a while ago. Never really sold any at my asking prices, so I was happy to come down a little and, and get some sales out of those. I have another one in here you'll see in a bit. It's a 65 uh, Philadelphia Ed Schrockman from the Vikings. So I really like the Philadelphia sets versus the top sets. A little bit more rare. Uh, here's a Momentum, Mr. Momentum insert from 99 Ultra. Got a bunch of those, so I was happy to see, see that go. I always have to double check these because I want to make sure it's not a gold medallion version. But I think these were just, there's just pro football. They kind of changed the logo to it's deceptive in my, in my eyes. That was always, if you had the gold round disc on it, that was always the gold medallion version. But uh, some Star Wars stuff I had laying around, I listed and sold one of these. This is a, like a stained glass card. I can't remember. Oh yeah, Star Wars Evolution. That's what that's from. Cool card. So continuing to try to list as much as I can, even from my own old stuff that I don't want to hang on to. And uh, it sells, so that's good. These I just listed like two days ago, maybe. This is from 19... Let's see if I can get this right. 61, I think. Um, but it was a game. It, they're tops, so you can see the tops there. They're tops. Um, I got a good, really good price on this. I got 90 cards for, I don't know, 75 bucks or something. So less than a buck a card. And there were some good stars in here. There's Bart Starr, Joe Namath, here's Lon Dawson, you know, Willie Wood, Bob Hayes, John Haddle. So these are all, I'm pretty sure it was all just stars, um, you know, that they produced for the game, but pretty cool cards. And, you know, some easily flippable money in it too which is always good 92 tops Lawrence Taylor and a 2000 tops Brett Favre going out to a buyer uh, here's a Reina base 2022 tops Champions League I really like those cards and they were cheap they were 20 24 dollars a blaster or 20 dollars a blaster so I really like the soccer products. I think there's good value in them. I just bought a uh, Stadium Club Chrome Mega yesterday for 40 bucks at retail. I mean, 40 bucks for a Mega, and there's they always have nice stuff in them. The cards are good quality. I think it. I still think Tops makes better stuff than Panini. Uh, here's another one of those Tops cheaters that I had a huge pile of 2012. I let them go pretty cheap because, again, I had quantity. Um, here's another stat smasher. I accepted an offer on a sharp, just the silver version, not the gold. 99 Pacific Crown Royale, um, franchise glory, pretty common little insert. I have a bunch of those. Another vintage, Elvin Bethea for the Oilers. That's who Tennessee used to be before the Titans. So 1970 tops. Just love the vintage. I, I think I'd rather buy vintage than anything else right now. Uh, as far as like lots and stuff. Um, and I think football vintage is way underpriced compared to baseball, basketball, other sports. So uh, this one is the insert you get out of the 
attacks offense 10. So those 10s are a good deal. You get 60 cards. I think it's 60 cards. Anyway, um, you get the 10, of course, if that matters. And then uh, you get a guar this guaranteed rare card, or guaranteed limited edition card, whatever you want to call it. Um, but they're all superhero based. Then you get other um, inserts and some other limited edition cards and stuff. But at $15 for the 10, and I can get anywhere from eight to ten dollars on these usually but i have three so i let one go at six bucks but um you know when you get half your price half your value back in a box like that guaranteed i mean because you're guaranteed to get that card um when you can get half the money back up front seven dollars for a 60 card tin is pretty solid uh this is a mosaic card that i pulled so this is from 22 premier league and it's bukai osaka silver prism I think he's going to be a pretty good star in the um, World Cup, plays for England, so I think that's why, pretty good buy by somebody, I think they got a good good price on that, I think they could do better. Alright, and then I sold four of these uh, Contenders Draft 2021 um, Justin Herberts. Uh, this I got with a bunch of other vintage star players. So there's like OJ and um, I think there was a Staubach and stuff like that. Uh, bought it a while ago. This is a 76 Bradshaw. So pretty late in his career, but nice looking picture. It's in good condition. So nice sale there. Another one out of the Jeter lot. This is the gold parallel. I really like this one because I like the American League uniform from the All-Star Game. And these are numbered out of 2006. So, nice move there. Sold a few better Brady's here to this buyer. Uh, 2013 Prism, an 07 Topps Chrome, and then two 2003 Bowmans. So, and what I did was I had sent him an offer on, no, sent him an offer on this one, I think. And, uh, accepted it and then bought these other cards. So it, it's gaining me some extra sales doing the offers as well. Here's another absolute. Brady, I've been selling these like mad. I had a big quantity of them, so... And sometimes things just catch fire and you keep selling them. It's another 65 Philadelphia Pat Fisher. Uh, a couple of soccer cards here. Luis Suarez base card. And a uh, Federico Valverde. Um, it's the Steve Aoki. Top scrum version. It's all pretty cool there. Soccer is really starting to pick up. I have a big lot of Erling Holland stuff coming in today, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I got having a chance to see him play live was a pretty special treat, and he's quickly becoming my favorite offensive player. Okay, this is uh, the other one of those X Fractors that I sold. It's the red version, so it's a little higher number, numbered out of 250. Now another one of those game cards, Bob Hayes. A 79 tops Fred Bulletnikoff, wide receiver for the Raiders. A 2005 Finest, Brett Favre. So the WWE card, which I've been sitting on that stuff for a while. I don't have a ton of it. I bought a little bit here and there when there was some hype on it. And uh, I don't know, I'm okay with don't have much of an investment and I'm okay with it if it sits too, but if somebody wants to make an offer and stuff, I'm, I don't really, I have no attachment to it. I don't even know who Bobby Lashley is, but anyway, this was the finest refractor numbered out of 75 that I got in a lot. They're cool car. I mean, cool looking cards. Uh, again, I really like top stuff over Panini. So a Bettis select rookie Get that in a lot for Probably a little less than a dollar. This I got in a pack a while ago. Um, this is some old adrenaline stuff. Is this 2020? 2019? I don't know. 
but it's this uh, Marc Andre Ter Stegen, Stegen, I think is how you pronounce it, and it's the purple parallel refractor, whatever you want to call it. These are really cool looking cards. Big fan of the game cards. I think they're highly underrated. They're super cheap to buy. There's cool parallels, some nice color. Um, one of the things I really like is it kind of reminds me of Contenders because it has sort of like stats and rankings for the player on the front. Power up, goal stopper. He had 23 clean sheets. Um, I think these are like power numbers. I don't know. They're just pretty cool. They don't make adrenaline anymore, but the attack stuff is, is pretty awesome. Uh, it's on a, unparalleled Brady. It's just a base card. Um, it's the groove one, so I guess technically it's a parallel, but it's not rare or anything. So, cool there. The Dominators Rogers. I think the Dominators cards are un, underrated, undervalued, whatever you want to call it. Uh, super cool looking. They come out of Donruss, so I, I know it's a lower end brand, but I just think they're kind of awesome. I always like how they do the graphic. and Anyway, 2022 Micah Parsons. I pulled this out of a pack. So just a base card. It's not obviously not his rookie year anymore. So okay with letting that go. 89 score uh, Bo Jackson. Pick these up whenever I see them. The 89 score stuff set is just iconic. Uh, and, was, and so is Bo Jackson for that matter. But so... Something I was thinking about with Bo Jackson, he actually has more years of baseball playing, you know, years years he was playing the sport cards than he does football because he got injured so quickly and had to leave the sport. So Bo, football cards, I mean, I know they make modern stuff in that too, but his playing year cards are actually, there actually aren't that many of them. So 89 score by those all day long if I see them. And Bo stuff always resells very well. Now here's a 99 Donruss Preferred. It's got Marino, Elway, and Favre on there, so three Hall of Famers. Nice looking card. Uh, one of these 91 score, I think it is. It's kind of honoring the Rookies of the Year. So you've got Mark Carrier here, who's a cornerback, I believe. And then, of course, Emmett. So, cool card. I had a few of those. Those are all gone now, so I'd pick some of those up for the right price again. And I sold four of these gold 92 tops Brett Favre's. Sold them for a little less than I would really like, but I got a few of these pretty cheap too. Um, with the market being down and I have a, a fair quantity of them. And somebody wanted four instead of just one. So, you know, combined shipping, lower fees, all that. So I took a, a little bit lower offer on those. And I'll still make some money on them, so that's good. Uh, this is that 07 Topps Jeter. I kind of featured this card a bit in another video. It's one of my favorite cards. Got in a lot with some other stuff, so paid maybe 50 cents for it. If you're looking at it, a per card price. This is the uh, parallel version, where, or the, um, yeah, I guess it's a parallel. If you want. But it's got George Bush in the stands, and it's got Mickey Mantle in the dugout. That's just a super cool card. It's not, nothing else marks it as being special. It's still just card number 40. Yeah, so awesome. Glad others appreciate that card. I think it's really cool. I wish they'd do more stuff like that. It, I'd much rather buy this than the one with the Menendez brothers in the background, like the Mark Jackson card, or the one with the rapper guy who got, got killed on John Morant's card. This, to me, is way cooler. You know, the president in the stands and then the, the all-time Yankee great photoshopped in there. I, I think that's pretty sweet. Okay, then I sold some more Star Wars stuff. Star Wars continues to do pretty well. This is the green, so I think this is the fourth series. I'm not very good at, at that part of it, but anyway. Um, a Dave Prowse with Vader out of the yellow series, one of my favorite sets. And then a couple of the Empire Strikes Back. So I listed a bunch of Empire Strikes Back stuff that I got pretty cheap in a lot a while ago and hadn't really sold anything. And now this week I sold a, f a few cards out of it. So um, to me, this was the best movie ever made. So I was happy to 
buy a lot of some of the cards even if they don't sit it's just they're fun to have have hanging around anyway i sold two of these checklists so even in non-sports checklists clean checklists matter um and sell well so this is two of the same one actually this is the second series yeah second series checklist i believe um but anyway yeah it's card number 132 a nice picture of Vader there on the front. And last but not least, I took an offer on a PSA card and I sold it. Um, there's actually two different versions of this insert. There's this one and then there's the Ultra Specialist maybe. And I don't remember what it is, but what it's called. But anyway, it actually opens up. The folder opens up and then there's info on the inside as well. This is just the straight die cut single card. So I don't have like a huge attachment to this or anything. Um, I don't think they're particularly difficult to grade. I know it's die cut, but everything's rounded other than, you know, like the normal bottom corners. So, um, and FLIR had pretty decent quality control on their condition stuff. So I don't, I guess I'd have to look at the pop, but anyway, for 50 bucks, I was, I can do something with that. All right, so that is it. That's a lot. Um, thanks again so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Do you think the I did a good job taking the offers and accepting offers, making offers? I want to hear your feedback. So leave a comment down below. Please like, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Ring the bell if you want to be notified when videos post. Otherwise, that's it for today. Thanks again so much for watching, and we'll see you again.